Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We did not get a kingdom last time. Now, according to the comments, it is possible for you to just get the kingdom when you do an invasion, as in it actually gives you the title. Apparently what messes it up is them holding land which is outside of the du jour kingdom, because then they still hold lands, so then they get to keep their title. That's basically the gist of it. So because we didn't manage to get these two provinces, they got to keep their title of king, which is not really ideal, but we can work around it. Now, as to why the war ended, apparently the AI can actually surrender wars, which I hadn't fully realized yet, but it makes sense. There's no reason why they couldn't surrender. So instead of letting us torture their civilians for the next uh, two years while we slowly siege this land, they decided to just surrender, which, you know what, makes a lot of sense in hindsight. So, what's the next plan? Well, we have two paths ahead of us. Path number one. We properly organize our land, we sort out everything that we gotta do, we slowly get ourselves into position, and we declare independence. Number two is we declare independence. I'm gonna declare independence. Here's what we're gonna do. We have one year before our domain causes us issues, right? So we have one year to fix everything we need to fix. If we don't fix it in one year, we have to do proper vassal management, and nobody wants that. So. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look in here. We're going to figure out who our liege is currently. So who is our liege? That is horrible. <laughs> I hadn't, I had forgotten this was our liege. Yeah. So our liege is this guy. This is a huge problem for us because we would love um, to be right next to him in sieging at when the war starts. We cannot do that. Okay. Let's figure this one out. Uh, so I think what we need to do. Just working out the steps. Raise our troops, which we can do in our land. Get them on boats. Send the boats over to Ennis, probably. Or, I guess actually we could maybe even send the boats straight here. But I, th I think there's something that happens if you have them in the territory of someone you're actively at war with. So let's maybe say we send them to Ennis, right? We then create a faction for independence. Actually, we can do that first in case somebody else wants to join. Uh, we then... When they say no, walk up here and we take it. Uh, we can also hire some mercenaries before we go in order to make ourselves look stronger. I think that's our best plan. Anything here that we actually need to worry about? No. Uh, we don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Currently, our succession is an absolute horror show. Like, I mean, look at this. This is just absolutely disgusting. We don't, we don't want to worry about any of that. I would love it if Solvi actually could be our heir. That would make our life a lot simpler here. Can Solvi be our heir? Uh, well, maybe. Let, let me vote for Solvi. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure that they're... Oh, they switched. Perfect. They actually switched immediately, which is even better. Yeah, okay. So that fixes our succession problem slightly. Because now, um, when it calculates, this guy's going to get pretty much everything, which will be good. And then you'll get, like, some of it, which I think is fine. Okay, let's raise some troops and let's go to war. So we're going to rally point over here. Because right, it doesn't really matter and this is the closest sea tile. Uh, we're going to raise all of our troops here. We're then going to go into uh, mercenaries. We're going to find some mercenaries that are low money, high troop count. So actually, I think we're going to go with both of these guys. Yeah. Fortunately, we don't have enough money to do much else. I actually can't even get those guys. Okay. That's fine. We'll raise them here as well. Let's wait for these guys to all raise. Liege is very concerned about what's happening. I'm going to accept his offer being marshal. Why? Uh, because it's great for us. We get a huge amount of benefits for being his marshal. Including the fact that we get levy size. Actually, can I have it? Do I have any more levies now? I do. Wonderful. I had one extra one. That's fine. Faction created? Nah, it's populist. I don't care. Uh, I want an independence faction. We need to break our betrothal. Let's go in here and break a betrothal. Yes. He is now very unhappy with me. I'm now going to send our troops over to Ennis. 
And then I'm going to wait to see what he's... Actually, you know what we could... Yeah, yeah, I want to send him to... Actually, we can send him here, because that's apparently quicker. Yeah. Uh, if we're going around the top, let's send him here. Yeah. That's fine. Wait a second. Our alliance expired, which is great. Our succession is garbage. Why? Why is our succession garbage? Because it hasn't calculated yet. You know what we can do? We can do uh, this. Oh, uh, it's because I didn't do both of them? Wait, no. So he should inherit the Yaldum of Norland. Why do you inherit anything? Why are you getting Halsingland? You shouldn't get Halsingland. Wait a second. Yeah, this student, this isn't yours. Because you're my brother, not my son. Why? You're, you have no right to this land. It hasn't calculated this land stuff yet properly. That's weird. Okay, well, hopefully it fixes it. Right, uh, we're going to lead the army. We're then also just going to have a quick look at this. We can now create the independence faction. Let's do that. We have 91%. Anybody want to join? There might be people who join because they don't like the liege. Like, you might join if I give you a little bit of money. Let's see here. Let's give you just a little bit, see if we can topple you over into joining. Um, I don't think anyone else is that interested. That's fine. Let's go. We on the we on the boat ship? We are. Cool. Head over here. We're gonna then gonna sit right there. Which is definitely not gonna look threatening. Why did you just become independent? You didn't? I just zoomed in. Alright, although this is, yeah, this is Sweden that we're in. Oh, wait, no, you're controlled by someone else? Wait, did you just move your capital? You just moved your capital to Upland. Wait, did he? Am I going crazy? No. No, he just moved his capital to here. Is that right? No, What? what's your capital? And oh, now I'm getting confused, because his capital is no longer Mayo. As it was a second ago. Uh, so where where is where is your capital? So it's is it high is, is it high many? No. Is it Upland? It is Upland? Yeah, he did just change his capital to Upland. <laughs> all right, we'll disband all the troops, re-raise them back over in in Upland. <laughs> I have y'all. Why did you declare a war on him? You're attacking for the chieftain of Vodi and you have 6,000 troops? That's fantastic news. Okay. Is this all the troops I have? It is. Okay. That's fine. Right. Uh, I'm being raided. Yeah, that's probably why I just lost a bunch of troops from somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Nominate successor for what? Sweden? I don't know. Honestly, it's not going to be a problem in a second. We'll worry about that in a second. Right. We have 102% of our liege's strength. I'm going to press my demands. Yes. This is fine. Nobody wanted to join, right? You're thinking of joining. We'll give it another month. Just let our troops reinforce as much as they can. Why are we sieging? Yeah, wait. Why are we sieging? Uh, who currently controls this land? Wait. Oh, no, we're being sieged by this guy who we're not hostile to, but he's attacking our liege. Um, why are we not hostile to you again? Uh, that's weird. Well, I guess we don't want to be... Uh, I guess we could be standing here when we declare the war because then we'll fight that army, then we'll get our troops back. Things have gone very weird. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to press my demands. Let's go. Let's see what he says. To my worthless vassal, your shameful attempt at blackmail has not succeeded. No matter how many corrupted souls you've enticed to help carry out your plan, I will not give in without a fight. I'd rather die defending what is rightfully mine than war it is. Are we still not hostile to these guys? No. Alright, well, head to Upland. For some reason, we're still not hostile to these guys. This is a neutral army sieging our land. <laughs> Which is uh, crazy. Okay. Um, 
literally nothing we can do unless we join the Legia's War. You formed a new alliance with Kazaria. Okay. Uh, well, that's horrible. Uh, promote a legend, start a legend. No, I want to call my allies to war no now, though. Let's make sure we call them all in. That's fine. Right. Carry on. Uh, I want to lead the army. Means that our army moves quicker as well, which is nice. Ten month siege of Upland. Our land's about to be sieged, which is crazy. That's fine. We can call in you. I've already called you in, maybe? Or you can't be called in? Oh, because Kazaria just got called in. I see. So they have 8,000 versus our 4,000. Yeah, this is horrible. Okay, this is about the worst case scenario we could have. We have a grandson called High Singer, who is spindly. Okay. Um, yeah, th this is about worst case scenario right now. They got an alliance with Kazaria, who was also the liege of one of my vassals. Hey, at least our player air changed. That's cool. It finally worked out. Succession didn't make any sense at all. There you go. So now this guy gets these three titles and he gets everything else. That's fine. But yeah, um, Lee's got an alliance with Kazaria, who is um, the liege of one of my allies, which is horrible. It's it's just like, yeah, it's not good. You, uh, I'm, you're not doing an intrigue. You're doing a martial education, uh, my giant son of mine. Um, and then you are going to be educated by... Again, I'm just looking for intelligent or something like that. My court tutor. There we go. That'll be fine. The rest of this doesn't really matter. We have a lot of low control in counties, but we'll worry about that later. Right. Uh, we're sieging. We're going to keep sieging. Our best way of winning this war currently is to take their capital and win. That would be great. If we could do that, fantastic. Um... Beyond that, we're going to have to actually fight them, and I'm not entirely sure we're ready for that. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm sitting around a map table with Chieftain Pai Vio and Chieftain Boris discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Um, Pai Vio uh, bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims that we should change the or we should charge the enemy directly and crush them with sheer might of our armies, while Boris sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. Well, because we have enough marshal, we are able to simply do everything. So we get improved offense, improved defense, as does he. So we get to kill more of the enemy, we get more advantage if we attack, we also get more advantage if we defend, and we get more advantage if we're defending in our own territory. You'll love to see it. Okay. Carrying on. So these are people we're actually hostile with down there. We do have ticking war score because we control the war target, which I believe is none of our land being sieged, which is about to disappear when that gets sieged. Let's see. Find out if that's true in a second. Uh, wait, no, but that was sieged by Estonia, not by us. Okay. Wait, I didn't also. Also, I didn't realize Estonia literally declared for one of our provinces in the war where we can't interact with them. That that is um, that's crazy. Anyway, I've taken Upland, which is great. Gets you a ton of war score due to being the enemy capital. Um. We would love to figure out a way to get more war score. Are we the defender or the attacker? We're the attacker. So we're capped on war score from battles to 50%. Um, if we were the defender, I believe that you have uncapped uh, war score from battles. So that's fine. Uh, now we just need to go find people we're actually like at war with and then attack them. So we are at war with Dunbar with Kazaria and with Sweden. So that's an army we're actually at war with. Uh, who else are we at war with? We're actually at war with them. We're actually at war with these guys. We're not at war with these guys. Although we are hostile to them now, interestingly, and we weren't hostile when we were standing there. Um, and we're actually at war with Dunbar if they actually had any troops anywhere. Where, where, where are you? Ah, right, so they're both there. 
Okay. Let's go uh, boat bomb them. We're basically going to go attack them on our boats. This may or may not work. If it does work, it's great though. Uh, do I want sappers? I do. Yes, because I want to be able to siege quicker. Uh, yes, I want all of this. So let's keep going down here. This one gets us nothing, but it gets us closer to things that are useful. Like men at arms counter efficiency would be fantastic for us right now. And over. Uh, I'm kind of happy to land on them. Also happy to not land on them. I'd love to catch him though if we could. Yeah, we are going to catch him over here in Estonia. That's good. They changed where the, the direction they were going for a second, which actually means we're going to catch up to them. When we start attacking them, this army will get dragged in and it will run over here. So we should be able to kill that army separately as well. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, you see, they get dragged into the fight. Because they're like, oh, my ally's in danger, I have to come and help. As did our allies at the same time, by the way. They did the exact same thing. We've been appointed this guy's master of the hunt. We're, did you realize we're currently at war with you? For independence? Um, I mean, it's a weird decision, but okay. I guess he did it because... Um, can I think of a good reason? He did it because he was trying to get opinion for us. So that we would like him better, because we're a vassal who doesn't like him. Doesn't make any sense logically why that would happen, but, you know, I think that is what happens. We have, uh, yeah, defeated an army. Hey, we actually got some um, devotion for that one because, um, yeah, we got devotion because we were fighting someone who wasn't our religion. So we're now a paragon of virtue. Wonderful. We need a lot more piety, by the way, to achieve all of our dreams, but, yeah. Let's not worry about that right now. We still have ticking war score, which is lovely. So if nothing happens, we will win the war, right? Uh, how much are we away from force demands? We're 38, so he does want he wants us to get full war score. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go chasing. Yeah. I mean, let's go chase their armies and break their sieges. Uh, we don't care about Estonia. It matters not one bit. How much of an army do you have left? You have 5,800 left. So you have 3.4, is that correct? Uh, you have 3.7. Okay, so you have these two plus some unraised. That's fine. You have 1.8. Okay. Uh, and then you have nobody. Yeah, you're basically nobody. Okay. So, if we can stop these two people from sieging our land, we're actually great. And they're just wandering around doing nothing right now, so that's fine. Uh, do we want to head back over here to siege more Swedish land? We could potentially head back to this land and just start sieging it. Is there any land that's easier to siege over here? Yeah, this land might be easier to siege. Yeah, let's head to Ostergotland and see if we can siege that. That, that might get us a little bit of war score. Well, I mean, how much do we get from winning a battle? We can still get 30% from winning battles. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to head down here. We're going to see what we can do. Okay, Major River. I understand. Yeah, let's... Uh, that's not a terrible idea, actually. Let's head this way. Let's get on onto a boat and see where it'll take us. We gained a rival. This random dude. Okay, who I think I just let out of prison. Okay. Sweden's going to move over here somewhere into our territory. Yeah, I just want to see where they are. Yeah, so they are, have actually started sieging our land. That's fine. So, move on up. They're probably going to end... Oh, no, they've stopped where they are. Is there a quick way down here? There is a river that goes all the way down, right? Yeah, let's go down here and then in. That seems like a great idea. We are going to crush them. Love to see it. We lost a siege, but that was to Estonia. And as we all know, it doesn't matter. Because Estonia is not who we're at war with yet. I believe we might actually end up at war with Estonia if um, if we win our independence war. Because they declared, declared for our land. But we'll see. We might not. It might become invalidated. Okay. We have crushed their army. Again. 
now captured someone else who's uh, important. Our daughter has come of age. She was the person we were marrying off for, ma uh, for an alliance, but we no longer need that. Okay, we need you to break your siege. Five months left. How long does it take you to get here? You will get here in three months. Well, that adds up to me. Head over here. They're, I love how they're still trying to convert our land. They're like, yep, gotta convert it. They, they haven't quite realized that they're not going to be our liege much longer. Education is at an end. My guest Inga has finished her education. She is no longer related to this ruler in any way. I think it was her brother who originally asked her to educate us, er, or us to educate her. My ward Inga has come of age and it's time she left my care. Inga's energetic nature was thought to be a sign of affinity for war and combat, but perhaps it was simply unruliness. She has only developed a basic understanding of the subject, but at least she has learned the essentials of managing an army. I can only hope the rest will come with experience. Be gone, Inga. Okay. Over here, we might get here in time. 31 days. How long does it reckon it's going to take us to get here? It's going to take us... Uh... Trying to get it to show me the time to arrival. There was a, there was the right pop. Twelve days. Okay, so we are gonna arrive in time. Assuming they don't get a good event. Thinks we'll lose now. One to our ally. Our ally is coming over. He's just really slow. Okay. Well, I have to take it. I mean, fifteen days left. We don't have time to wait. So it's an even battle at the start. We have better defender, uh, and well, we have better commander advantage. Their guys counter our guys and are fighting in favorable terrain. That is, um, yeah, that's bad for us. They do have the chance of bad rolls because he's got reckless. He also has the chance of really good rolls, but we should be fine. Our champions have a lot more prowess than their champions. And we have a lot more of them, so that should be fine. We will have reinforcements arriving in nine days. And we're winning anyway. Okay. Call to war. Okay. Um, Alright. Uh, call on you to honor our alliance. How can I honor... I guess I could honor your alliance? Yeah, I guess there's no reason I can. I mean, you, I am at war with your liege and actively fighting them. So if you invalidate my war, I'm going to be very unhappy with you. But, um, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll join your war. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't seem to have invalidated our war. That's okay. We have defeated their army, broken their siege, most importantly. Sweden is sieging our land up here. We need to stop them. We are not capped on battle war score. How do I get... Well, I'll let it just find the quickest route. What's the quickest route there? That's going to be four months. It's going to take you how long to siege? Eight months. All right, that adds up. Let's head over. So speed across. They're running from us, which is uh, nice. Okay. We only need to survive another 12 months, and then we'll have taking war score. We've lost our personal champion. He died of his wounds. Uh, we need a new marshal. New marshal is going to be this person. Are we losing tons of money yet due to being over a domain limit? Yep, we are losing a ton of money. Although, apparently, us having zero domain doesn't actually stop us earning mo money because most of our money came from vassals in the first place. It's like, yeah, you lost 100% of the money you didn't have in the first place, so it doesn't matter. That's fine. Okay, uh, that faction's a little bit worrying the faction to put somebody else in charge because I think it can invalidate our one if they're put in charge. Um, but we'll see. Right, where is... These These guys are just hanging out in their own territory now. They're heading down this way, I think. Let's head this way. I don't know where they're actually going, but, you know, I think they were heading this way. They might be trying to stop Estonia. That's okay. Inefficient census. We have even less holding taxes than we had a second ago. Okay. Neighboring ruler won their war. Writes a passage. Somebody can go in and write a passage. I mean, I don't really have the money for it right now, but who is it? 
is Gurley. Gurley, it's time for your rite of passage. Uh, you're gonna do a duel. I think you're gonna do that. You're gonna face your cousin Hogney. Yeah, who you're better than. Um, my young daughter, soon tiring, gives the fight her all, but this right ends with iron at her throat. Um, she's gonna be an insecure tribal adult no matter what, but we'll say she gains a new champion. She can be a blade master. That's good. Right. This is fine. Yeah, this doesn't matter. Holding is now occupied by them in the independence war. It's not, because they're not in the independence war. They're in a different war. Their war is for the chieftain of Odi. Uh, the independence war ones are this one. Of which none of our land has been sieged, which is why we have taken war score. I'm just looking around to see if there's any land which we're worried is going to be taken. I mean, also, if we lose Vodi, we lose Vodi. I, I don't care, essentially. Like... If that's the end of this war as we lose that, then that's fine. They have 4,000 troops uh, that have just been raised. Are those mercenaries? No, those are not your troops. Uh, They are. Okay, so why does it say you don't have any troops? Uh, allies' military strength is about that. Hmm, I wonder. Maybe it just hasn't calculated yet? I'm assuming these are mercenaries, right? Can I see who's in the division? I can see that you're the leader of it. Hmm. Interesting. You'd think it would tell me, but it won't. Because it says that those are Kingdom of Sweden, but Kingdom of Sweden doesn't have those n numbers of troops. We just need to pay attention, because as long as we can survive for another seven months, we're fine. So actually, like, our best move is to stay away from major rivers. Shield Maiden blocks escape. Your all, um, Ingimar was returned to confinement in the small hours of this morning, having almost successfully escaped in the night. The prisoner stole past most of the guards, it seems, before being noticed by Thordis, out for a restless late-night walk. My shield maiden proceeded to beat Ingmar uh, bloody, only eventually hauling him back to his jailers. Um, excellent work. Right, we'll do a swing back this way. Just want to check what we got here. We need a guardian for our grandson... Gondolfer, who is not my heir in any way. That's fine. Um, you're doing a martial education. I'm okay with you doing a martial education. That seems like that would be useful. When you get educated by our court tutor. Our daughter can marry. Yep, I'm aware. Right. Back this way. So yeah, we just need to stay away from major rivers. You've now declared war on our liege. So this is a peasant uprising in Ireland. What do you get if you surrender? Uh, no, this one. If you enforce it. All rebellious counties lose 75% control. Alright. So it's not something we have to worry about. Mercenary Company is disbanding, but that's okay. Uh, there's not really anything we can do about that. 4% left means we need to wait 4 months. And then we win. So how long is it going to take you to siege that? Seven months. All right. So we don't even consider it as a possibility. Sweden, how many troops do you have now? Still doesn't think you have any troops. Okay. Where did the 3,000 go? You had 3,000 troops somewhere, and they are now gone. Where did you put them? Are they in Estonia? Maybe. We've got Fog of War there. They might be in Estonia. That's all right. Okay. 97. 98. Just paying attention to us mostly. Keep an eye on our other provinces. That's fine. 99. This one's at 100. So it's the more Davidian war we now we didn't even contribute to. Okay. We are now at 100%. Uh, I think we enforce demands. Yeah. We enforce demands. Could the two the contemptuous Jarl Heisinger? May your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. We are not a king. We're a Jarl. <laughs> Wait a second. I, can, I no, I don't want to usurp Sweden. I want to usurp the other one. Uh. Here we go. 
Wait, how did you... Did you usurp that? <laughs> Wait a second. Did you usurp that? My liege usurped it from this person. Okay, so my liege is now a double king. We need money. Okay, so we're now the world's largest duke. <laughs> Which is not really an ideal situation to be in. But that's okay. Right, let's clear this out. Let's clear this all out and figure out where we're at. Okay, um... We need to do vassal management. That, I think, is where we're at. Let me have a look at our successions. Yeah, so our succession is currently god-awful because all these duchies are going directly to my second son due to confederate partition. We get to keep these duchies because of confederate partition. So, if we die, our realm splits into two. That is obviously horrible. Do we have a, a, enough money in my prison? to solve this issue. Well, you have 100 gold for me. That's a good start. Do you have any gold for me? No. You have any gold for me? No. No. Okay, I'll take my 100 gold to start. That's a good way to start this whole thing. Oh, we're, we are also at war with Estonia. <laughs> um, Do I want to stay at war with Estonia? I mean, we could probably get some... Um, Probably get some money out of them if we win. We enforce demands, we, do, we get 87. We probably should. We actually have ticking war score, because they don't control Vodi, which is the war target, but we they will control it soon. Yeah, let's head up there and let's beat them up. All right. Back to uh, back to war and call my allies in. 100%. Well, welcome to the new war. Okay. Um, You know... Don't need to worry about vassal management. We're busy. Right. Head up here. I would love to get taking war score if we could. Uh, I'm tempted to just walk directly here and take the attrition. Yup. Now to siege it down. If they're going to let me, I'll do it. Alright. I've done it. <laughs> Not ideal, but I've done it. Can de designate a guardian for my uh, son. Okay. This is going to be your guardian. That's fine. Okay. We can exchange hostages with uh, Kazaria. Let's not worry about that right now. We can lawfully imprison my wet nurse for being a fornicator. She does have three gold, but I think that's a little extreme. Right, um, do I reckon I can defeat their army? Game reckons, maybe. <laughs> Game reckons, maybe, oh, and that's on the 4,000. Do I just give up Vodi? What do I get if I surrender? He gains the chiefdom of Vodi. You know what? Have it. I'll get it back later. <laughs> Not the biggest problem in the world. <laughs> Right, um, let's see what our next thing is. We can raise a runestone for winning the war. I mean, we could, it would be good to raise a conquest one, but we need the money more, so let's not worry about that. Uh, I think we're fine-ish. Do I have a personal deity? Uh, I don't think I do, actually. I don't think we took one. No, let, let's grab ourselves a deity while we're here. Um, I would like, actually, that would have been great, because this one probably would have been great for us, because these are probably affected by winter at some point. Uh, Devotee of Thor or Devotee of Freya are both very interesting for the control growth. Let's get Devotee of Thor. Yeah. We will be Thor, so that we can get extra money. Cool. We're allowed to hold on to four out of 14 of our titles. The problem is that uh, our vassal limit probably isn't very high. Let me have a look at vassal limit. It's 20, so actually we, we have plenty to give away. Vassal opinion is down by quite a lot due to being over a domain limit, but they'll get over it. Right. Um, next step for us. Um, I don't suppose he just gave up the uh, kingdom, by the way. 
There is always a chance. The AI does sometimes just give up kingdoms if they hold no land in it. Today is not that day, unfortunately for us. Um, okay. Well, we should just give it away, bit by bit, in theory. Although apparently there are some good bits of land in here. Um, apparently there's a special uh, building somewhere. Um, yeah, maybe might have been it might not actually be here it might they might have been talking about somewhere else that we could go after this yeah I think they might have been talking about the Empire if we made if we made this Empire I think there are some special buildings down here maybe uh, that's okay let me figure the next step out uh, prisoners is there anything I can do to um... no nobody would accept any of this don't suppose I could do an activity that would make me money? I guess the only thing I can think of is a grand tour, but it would cost us a lot. Do a blot. Blots probably won't get you money, huh? No. Grand tour might. No, we can't do a taxation tour because we're tribal. That's it. Yeah, it wasn't because we're independent. It's because we're tribal. I, I'm basically looking at everything that, would me that means that I don't have to sort my vassals out right now. No, okay. I think we have to sort them. Uh, let's make some assumptions about the land we're keeping, and then we'll work out the rest of it from there. I think we're going to keep Finland, Nyland, and Halsingland, because they have high levels of control, and they are directly underneath us. We should then keep one other piece of land. Um, what do we think the best piece of land is? Uh, probably something that has two buildings. Like, this one has two buildings. So that's probably pretty good. So like Luki could be good. Novgorod itself. Oh, it has a it has Sons of Rurik on it. Um which gives it development growth. That's kind of cool. Uh, it also has two buildings and it has a slot for a special building. Novgorod is probably the one to hold then. Yeah, it doesn't have money, but it does have control growth and levies. Alright, so we're going to keep Novgorod for ourselves. It's also a port, which is quite nice. Uh, just for, um... Like, I don't know. I, I kind of like the fact that we can connect all of our land via the sea. As in the what stuff, our actual stuff. So, let's go each bit of land and figure out who we're giving it away to. So, for us... It would actually make sense for us to give our son, uh... Freaker some land... Because if we give him some land, he'll be deserving of less land in Confederate Partition. Because he'll already have it. So, let's say that we're giving him this land here. Let's give him all of this. So, everything that's within this duchy is going go to our, uh, is gonna go to our son. There we go. I'm going to grant... Because he's also not... Actually, is, wait. Do we have a son who's less good? Or was I looking at a grandson? Let's look at grandson. Okay. Yeah, let's um let's grant him all these titles. So is that Yeah, so it's those ones there, and then ev I immediately move the camera. Yeah, so it's those ones and then everything to the uh east of it. There we go. That should be good. He gains a ton of opinion of us. And he also makes our um yeah, he makes our vassals hate us less. I'm going to pardon my wet nurse. That's fine. Right. Next up, I'm going to look over here. What's this duchy? Duchy of Luki. So, that's here, 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 and... Oh, and that's all one uh, province. So, these three are going to go away. Okay. Um, Can we find somebody to give that to? How about... Someone like Gandolfer, our grandson who is not in line to anything. Yeah, let's, let's grant him this land. Remember, we're going to have Scandinavian elective. Whoever, like, giving these people these bits of land doesn't really matter because eventually, they, if they're good, they'll be in line to the, um... Like, they'll be a, a potential candidate for the election anyway. So, this is fine. I'm going to give you this land. Now we have two more bits of land to give away. We have uh, this stuff, which is the Duchy of um, 
Vepsia, which is actually great because um, that means that Novgorod is not part of that land. Do you have somebody already hold some? You do. Um, ooh, would we be happy just asking him to have the rest of the land? Or do we... We probably want somebody who we... Um, yeah, we, we probably want somebody who's our family in charge. Let's maybe put... Oh, no, you're... Um, you're married not matrilineally. You're not married at all. We could find someone for you to marry and then give him the land. We got somebody with... Uh, does learning actually affect the speed of... Uh, no, I was, I was wondering whether it, it, it affected the speed of conversion. But it does affect um, whether someone's more likely to convert. Yeah, let's maybe marry her to somebody with very high learning. And then give him the land. So matrilineal... High learning is our religion currently. This guy, perfect marriage. He's also Varengian. Interesting. Also a novice physician. That's kind of cool. Let's marry them off. Wait a second. Wonderful. So he is now in our lands. So I'm now going to... I'm assuming we can't grant her lands. Oh, we can grant her titles. Never mind, I'll just give the title. Well, she's not as good. Actually, her stats are kind of bad. But knowing I could have granted through the titles means I could have just skipped this step. But anyway. Uh, I'm going to grant you the titles because you have high uh, learning. So you should be able to convince this guy to convert at some point. Let's do that. He, obviously, he's not actually his vassal yet. But he will be once we become a king. Cool. So we are now within our domain limit, which is a huge improvement. We have low county control in Novgorod. Which we need to go and fix. So we'll get you there. That's going to be seven years. We now know where we would want a conquest runestone if we were going to place one. Although, again, yes, we don't want to spend the money. That's a good point. That's me from my own head saying good point. That's fine. We can negotiate alliances with people within our realm. These are our sons. That means they can't uh, raise factions against us. Okay, we do have a couple of vassals who hate us. They hate our guts, they hate everything about us, and they want to be on the council. We'll worry about them in a second. Right. Cool. Uh, so, we'll wait just to the end of the month. Wait, let some things calculate. We do have dangerous uh, factions. Peasant rabble. That's not the biggest thing in the world. Where is the peasant rabble? The peasant rabble is in Novgorod. They are unhappy that... Um, everything, basically. They're just kind of unhappy. They're unhappy that we have an offensive war. That's because their faith doesn't have the same thing we have. Their faith has the standard stuff, but our faith has warmongers. So we get at peace opinion, opinion instead of offensive war opinion. Which unfortunately means that they're unhappy that we were just in that war. Okay. Right, let time move on a little bit. Um, let's see what we can do about um, our vassals who hate us. So, first things first. If I raise this, it makes people uh, hate us more. Just try to see, is there a level? Yeah, I need to get to level 3 if I want to revoke titles. We could potentially get to level 3. Yeah, and that would give us the ability to revoke. Right now, we can't even revoke anything. We could ask that he converts, though. That's not a terrible idea. You know what we could do? We could do this little cheese that was suggested before. We switch you on to patronage, and then we ask you to convert. Yeah, there we go. 82%. We'll do that just so that... Um. Yeah, so now he's converted. So he converts, and then he um, will hate us less, basically. Or he should in the long term hate us less. You also hate me. Why? Title claimants below expected legitimacy. Offensive wars over domain limit. I'm over my domain limit. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, actually, that's fair. We'll fix that in a second. You want a weak hook? No. You. Convert. Uh, he has converted. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, he still hates us, but that's okay. Let's move ourselves back onto assist ruler. That means that we get to, um, 
yeah, we get to be above our domain limit and these guys will hate us less. They still hate us for offensive war, although interestingly their new religion doesn't have that as a modifier, which is kind of weird. Wait, does that disappear or does... Hmm. I don't know whether that disappears or whether it just doesn't go up anymore. Gem in the rough. During one of our lessons, my daughter... In my daughter Gurley's chambers, I noticed a collection of rocks neatly displayed on a shelf. One of the stones stands out in the collection. It is quite rough, but upon inspection, there is a deep red, brilliant hue contained within. She notices my interest, picks it up, and hands it over. You can have it, Father. Uh, yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Apparently, we have a feud with you. Alright, I will reciprocate the feud. I'm not sure I'm really happy with that, but let's do that for now. I've gained a nemesis. I don't really want a nemesis, but that's fine. Um, next step. There is a next step. Yes, sell the item I just got. For 40 gold. You didn't by any chance uh, destroy the kingdom, did you? Nope. So we still need a duchy title is the problem. Uh, the problem with that means we don't actually need 500. We need um, two duchies worth. So we need... 500 plus another 125. Yeah. Uh, it does also cost me legit. Oh, it gives me legitimacy. You know what? Let's create this duchy right now. The reason I want to create that now is because it gives me legitimacy. I was hoping that got me to the next level because that would make our vassals hate us less. Um, it did not. Okay. I can uh, forge the. Yom's Vikings. Okay. This is a really bad idea for us to do, by the way. The reason it's really bad is that if we found it, then we switch our religion. They will be of a different religion. So therefore, we have given another religion troops to use against us. What's this? Found the capital of Rus. Enterprising Norse flow out of Scandinavia and through rich rivers of fierce Slavs to the east. Uh, though countless settlements and minor realms vie for power, Slavic and Norse alike, only one can truly represent the unification of two people. So we have to be independent, not imprisoned, exalted, illustrious. The date is earlier than 110.1.1. Oh, cool. Increases development level by two. Ooh, and you get Varengian capital for a hundred years? Ooh, we should definitely pick where we're having our capital and then do it. Because that is fantastic. I don't know if Halsingland is our capital long term. I mean, it, it could be Novgorod. I The, the problem is, I kind of hate all, both of those for capitals. I know I said I liked ports, but... The problem with ports is they become very easy to... Uh, yeah, they become very easy uh, to attack because you just land troops on them. I guess the nice thing about this is at least it's an inland port. So we could, in theory, um... I was going to say we could put, like, castles here, but actually I think you could just walk over, can't you? Because it's the same province, so no, it wouldn't do anything for us. But yeah. I mean, I guess it's an inland port, so it would take him longer to get there. It's a less good, um, example there. Right, so we need how much? Need to double our money. Okay. Um, not sure how we're going to do that. Just yet. We'll figure it out. We could raid. You know what? Raiding sounds like a good idea. I mean, we can't raid Estonia. We could come down here and raid some other people. How strong is Kazaria right now? We could raid some of Kazaria if they got any money. Ah, yeah, you see, that's the thing that they're missing here. <laughs> As a raid target actually any money to get out of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just seeing what we got. Hmm. Could maybe raid um, this one. You're actually just being attacked. Why are you being attacked? What? what, what what's, uh, what's your deal? You're in a war up there. You're defending against them. Okay. Let's raise some troops down here and let's do some raiding. Uh, raids local raiders. Okay. Did you take everything? No, you left some. You left some loot behind. 
let you just clear off here and then I'll just sneak in here and grab the what you left. Development is great, gives us men at arms counter efficiency. Nice. Snuck in, took some stuff. Uh, we'll leave by going over here. Uh, excuse me, I was about to raid that. That was that was my target. Forging the Yom's Vikings. Chieftain Otar, an enterprising Nordic adventurer, has launched a vicious invasion against Olavi, sweeping the lands of Pitar Sari out from under him in a surprise attack. What makes this unusual is that the invasion seems to have a religious motivation. Otar has partnered with an Asatru zealot named Fulki to set up a warrior brotherhood they call the Yom's Vikings. The group claims that they will enforce the old ways, striking against Abrahamics, reformists, and rival pagans alike, reaving a bloody swathe up and down the waters of the Baltic. So I decided not to do it, and then he's like, nah, it's time to go. So all she'll know Odin's wrath or competition, you say. Doesn't really matter what we say. He becomes the uh, uh, the patron. Okay. Sneak into Kazaria, grab some money. I decided Kazaria did have enough money for me uh, after looking at the other options. Right down here. Rites of Passage, a familiar fear. As you're all, I give permissions to youths as uh, soon to perform Rites of Passage. Some make bold promises, oaths few Norths could keep. Others, like my courtier, Mikipir Tremble. Today, the chosen trial is the same as the one I myself undertook. Uh, his skill at arms is to be his worth, but I notice he bears no sword. I'll tell him my story. I gained some prestige from that. Wonderful. Continue our siege. Our son has learned the Finnic language. Wonderful. Uh, we want to head over to this one next. Oh, we can just walk in here. All oh, right. Well, you know, go go uh, get that land as well while we're while we're here. Nice. Should have a reasonable amount of money now. We have thirty. Okay. Well, it's not quite as reasonable as I would have wanted, but that's fine. We captured a prisoner. Prisoner worth money? Worth three gold? Ooh. Fantastic. Did I want to raid these guys? I could raid them. I could... Wait, no, they're my vassal, aren't they? No, they're not. They're Sweden. Oh, I can't raid them because um, uh, I have a truce. Wait a second. How did they gain this land? Wait a second, how did they gain this land? Who held this land before now? Uh, yeah, who held your duchy? Uh, so you inherited it and then you conquered it. So this random dude just conquered this land over here. Oh. Alright then. Oh, well, I guess that's fine. Wait, yeah, wait. Wait a second. Sweden created the kingdom. Did they then vassalize this person? Or were they at war with them separately? I completely missed what happened here. Anyway. A cynical bent. Upon returning from a successful raid, every good Norseman knows to sacrifice a little of their gains to the gods. Every good Norse except Folke, that is. As the rest of us divide up the spoils, boasting of our best pieces and discussing which will give in thanks for good fortune and fair winds, I notice that he remains silent. Upon confronting the man, he even admits it. I saw no hand of the gods in our raids, my Jarl. Only my own hands do my own work. My share is for me. And say, you near blasphemy. Good idea, every little help, so not my business. I'll, I'll give up 25 for 10 gold right now. I need every penny I can get. But, you know what I also need? I need to end the episode, which is going to happen right about now. It was a little bit chaotic. But it worked, and I think that's all that really matters. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.